Hi my friends, this is Trey and you're watching Trey's Myths and Tombs channel on Odyssey YouTube and Trey's timeless 15 or 20, 25 minutes of explanations. And today I've been talking about clearly seeing through the out of controllers fake authority and creating your own life. This has always been a, a central message I've had and um uh, When you can um, let your body-mind be a temple of the free spirit, transform yourself into your own respectful authority, seeing their, their, the, the outer ex external authority is fake, making your own picture beautiful, then you learn that real prayer is respectful visualization with faith in pure goodness in, to create the manifestation of your harmless, respectful, aware reality. Uh, this character, I made the video about uh, narcissistic abuse um, that I lived with for five years. He was in two reggae bands when I met him, and now I don't see him hardly ever get creative. But he had to talk condescending to me the first time he spoke to me after s and, and seeing me a handful of times. So... It shows me that the, the uh, narcissistic person or the person with the narcissistic predator entities can become gradually, increasingly uncreative and it can suck your creativity. And I find that if I, if I try to, to be a financial vampire too much, for example, if, which I really have to change, uh, it can siphon my personal creativity because it's not... It's um, un unfortunately an entropic pattern. And Lucifer and Satan, Belial and the Black Suns wanted this codependency and this entropic pattern. And this is what we must, many of us, have to face and change. So, real prayer is respectful visualization with faith in the pure goodness manifestation. But you must extract the entities to create. If you don't if you have this type of problem of narcissistic personality or narcissistic predator entities, you can't even be creative. You're worried about the rent. Or you're worried about control. Or you're worried about being a vicious piece of shit. You know, your own ego trip. You can't even make anything nice, you know. So that's why the shadow work is key before you can build a community or live your dream. Because it's going to kick your ass if you don't. Whereas with me, it's like uh, kicking my ass to not help others, so I'm willing to, to risk it to work as the wounded hero, Kiron type character that I am, and just literally on this astro cartography line. So, so what you are watching now is the show that really goes by what the court system portends to and claims to go by, and what medical MD allopathics sign a thing saying they're going to go by when they graduate medical school the Hippocratic Oath I am a person who's only going to tell you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth to help you sacred goddess as much as I know in my heart and I'm going to be as harmless as I can do first nothing to harm you or me at all no harm harmless, respectful, loving conscious Slapping only the paper. Does that make sense? It's okay to be abusive to a piece of paper. It's okay to rub it up with permission if you want to gently. But grinding without permission could be construed as rude, disrespectful. So you, so I've said before, um, Joe Joe Vitale's for, formula for success. One of his, I think his number one or second thing is know what you don't want. If you don't know what you don't want, you'll never realize what you want. Because first you're going to have all this crap happen in these horrible situations and these predator spirits kicking your ass. If you didn't know, you didn't want that enough to not to say no to it. You're just too much of a kind-hearted soul. Or you're too much of a hard ass to know how to let a nice person in. It's another opposite problem some of us have developed. 
You have to know what you don't want, and that's Satan. And this person that I, you know, he broke the rotation of the joint to hand it to this person with the heavy, heavy NPEs. And so I could say to this friend of mine, like today, your willful ignorance and refusal to see the truth of the flaws and constantly forgiving this other guy that I live with, the moral cowardice in this psych psychologically, as far as your refusal to set boundaries, has possibly helped 450 people to heal this issue. Until I made a video called... Is Yahweh a narcissistic predator entity? And ever since then, oh, I might have gotten seven or nine views. Might have helped a few people, but not really. So, so he can admit he's got a mutable sun and rising Mercury. He can admit, notice the alien interface, admit it, and then change the subject. And he's, he's from San Francisco, and he grew up in poverty, and he grew up around all this stuff. So I guess, you know, because of that, even though he went to Australia for seven years, he believes subconsciously that he has to accept the interference. What? Since I'm not from a place that it's so bad, I, I really have to tell everyone, you don't have to accept the interference, but it's going to take, particularly if you were born in San Francisco or Seattle or East Bay or Santa Cruz or L.A., it's going to take some personal power to not have these, these because they're attached to you, man. These predator entities are attached to most everyone here, most everyone in this county, for example. Um, and I just look at them as a psychic empath. I can't see them physically, but I look at I don't know what they are exactly. I see various amounts, various levels of possession. And because I'm from the so-called friendliest town in America, I see how they don't see what's going on around them because these spirits have them distracted. And the belief, fear-based belief through perhaps the blood and the land from the conquistadores as well, and the cell phone addiction, they... It's become normalized in this part of the world near Santa Clara, San, San Francisco, East Bay, Santa Cruz to be self-possessed and totally not friendly at all, not see what's happening around you. And now with this, the health, replicating ho hots internal graphene dioxide growing, um, you could just see this possession in uh, the AI possession. And then they have this atmospheric river number two. And my hands are frozen almost. And you could just smell the nanobots in the air and feel the growing takeover. And then it's not, I don't speak of it because I want to, but because awareness is essential and essential, essential and essential key in the whole battle of reclaiming your soul from the dark and returning to the the second coming going to the, the christ um it's okay to use it what I, the way i'm doing now i suppose as well as i'm probably giving myself um cancer colonies in my head from staying on the uh, microwaving on the laptop for eight hours a day but um i love it so much i've become so addicted and to share. I'm, a, I'm addicted to sharing and I love you. I love the world so much that it's, it, it was my karma to see that nasty after school uh, video. And I, I've got to watch all the, all of his videos. There's a reason why that guy got 6 million followers. Cause he's a brilliant guy using a simple idea to share the awareness. And, um, that's what I'm doing here too, but in a more raw format, which is not as appealing to the masses, but it's appealing to you who have the courage to listen to someone who's already free in a sense, at least not possessed by the box, having to be freezing in the polyester room kind of sucks, but um, 
If I had my warm insulated wigwam, it would have some really deadly mold on it by now after the atmospheric river, so couldn't do it. Anyways, if you enjoyed this, click on the subscribe button that I painted the colors of the Ethiopian flag. And remember that um, you can see through the lies of the fake world and think about how insane everything got in 2020 if you if you need a reminder. And um, remember, we'll never forget the trauma that Satan and Lucifer caused the entire planet or attempted to do in their attempted hi hijack and Nazi mind control mass formation psychosis scam. But yet we know eventually we must forgive everything in order to ascend. So learning to respect yourself, you learn that seeing clearly through your own personal bullshit as well as um, the world, your friend's bullshit, your mom's bullshit, your own bullshit, your own psychological, narcissistic, evil side or predator entities, as well as the entire planetary sphere of that kind of crap. And you learn to make a commitment to the Christ. And what a glorious, amazing, beautiful, ex possibly expansive time to be alive. And we have voices such as myself for the few and Ron DeSantis for everyone to, to work from within the system to reclaim or remember our constitutional freedoms and reclaim the clarity Remembering who Yeshua truly is. Remembering, as the disciples said, when will we see the kingdom of heaven, Master? When we die, when we're enlightened, when we become born again? And the great Master Christ said, the kingdom of heaven is here and now, yet, yea, though you do not have eyes to see it. And I, lately, especially during this day, I'm thinking of the great um, Catholic mystic priest who became a born-again Christian in the middle of Hitler bombing Poland, David Standall Rolf, uh, David Standall, and remembering seeing his face when he was 91, and he looked about 62, and he's smiling with the serenity of a, a man my age, a 45-year-old man, and um, because he thinks about the Christ all the time, about the Father's true love. And um, he was he found the Father in the in the middle of the of the war. So for me and the whenever I'm getting attacked by weather uh, weapons or um, getting attacked by someone who wants to punch me or destroy my plans because of um, they can easily be manipulated or manipulate others through the nanobot colony injections, you know. I never forget the Christ. I never forget the purity. I never forget the original purity of the Christos. Purity atop from the mountaintop. I'm bringing you the Christ consciousness nonstop, y'all. Can't you see? That's what I'm about. Bring in peace. Having no doubt. Christ consciousness and blessings. I'm giving thanks every night and day. Yes, you see. This is my church, Electronic Hermit, bringing it all from YouTube to one and all, each and every night and day, giving thanks and praises to the Christ and the goddess Gaia Soul Helios. I never take Satan's dumb, dumb advice again, no. Give me a thumbs up, give me some money on the button, send it to my mom. Send the Christ consciousness to everyone. Press subscribe. Love your life. You got to overstand the Christ is from within inside your heart, soul, and mind. Bring the gnosis, then share love and peace everywhere. Harmlessness and respect is how we get the work done. No soul neglect. Always having fun. Can't you overstand? Peace and love is how I get my work done. Stand, having fun again is my plan. Even when they coming back with some more weather attack, I'm going to tell you where it's at. Making a day in a creative, fun style way again. That's the Christ soul, original creator coming in. Have some fun, friends. Can't you see? Frankly, this is the end of my 30 minutes of explanation. Get Clear and have some fun. Reclaim your creativity, your imagination, 
is the way, the key to Christ. Never take Satan's dumb, dung advice. The queendom is out of hand. Have some fun in the land, y'all. Peace and love and respect everything.